You're in the rant wormhole where I rant about whatever my $15 a month plus patrons want me to rant about. You can become a patron and get one of these rants. This one is for Get Bass, who wants me to rant about, he says, seeing as Matt Hardy is staying with the WWE and apparently playing down the Woken character, give us a rant about Matt, Jeff, or just pro wrestling in general, and hype the fuck out of the plebe and the weeb for those who, for those weeaboo wimps, weak weeaboo wimps, who skipped it. If you didn't watch the plebe and the weeb, then you're a little bitch and a little bitch and a little bitch. But uh, more importantly, the, the finale of the plebe and the weeb season two was where we talked about Broken Matt, the Broken Matt saga um, in a lot of depth. Uh, and also I went through some tables and then Jesse went through some tables. So uh, I don't actually go through tables in the video because I, I, I did a test run of the tables um, and went through them by accident. But yeah, uh, it's it's an exciting video. There's a full-blown wrestling match cl climax. Um, there's a spoiler for you, but I mean, at, at this point, if 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 you're not if you haven't watched it yet, I just have to convince you, and that's the best way I can do it. So yeah, go watch the Broken Mat video. To be honest, I have not consumed any Broken Mat stuff since that video. At the time that it was recorded, was when Matt had just uh, rejoined the WWE, and he didn't have access to the Broken Mat character. So. Um, you know, for like a year, the Broken Matt saga wasn't really evolving or going anywhere, and I just haven't, I haven't caught up on it since it's come back. You know, he became Woken Matt, which I think is hilarious. Um, I, I like the gimmick. I like what I had seen, you know, people talking about, but I don't generally follow pro wrestling. I follow it when I can do so with my friend Jesse, because... All of my knowledge about wrestling, I never watched it growing up, had no knowledge. All I know about it comes from Endless Chess. I mean, let, let's just use this as a way to promote Jesse in general. If you've never been to the Drowning in Kayfabe channel, he had this channel called Drowning in Kayfabe. Well, now it's called Kayfabe Commander. But um, it was just a place where he would do podcasts and vlogs about wrestling, explaining like certain characters or explaining parts of the narrative and what made them interesting and how badly the WWE was fucking everything up. And um, it was fascinating. Listening to him tell any kind of story, I, I always get excited for it. So he, he'll, he uh, every year he reviews WrestleMania and the Royal Rumble. He does it on his main channel now on Endless Jest. So if you just go to Endless Jest, you'll find tons of not only his rundowns of events, but also uh, he does amazing tributes to wrestlers who died or uh, who retire. Like he'll, he'll make, um, he'll usually make a tribute video to anybody who he cares about. His video... Uh, about Hulk, about with uh, this video called What You Gonna Do, talking about the controversy that surrounded Hulk Hogan a few years ago. It's one of my favorite videos of all time. It's not really about wrestling, but it kind of is. The emotional context of the video is about wrestling. Um, that's in my top five favorite YouTube videos ever made. Um, so, yeah, uh, generally, what I know about wrestling comes from Jesse or comes from other people who talk about it, like um, you know, Emp Lemon's recent video on Monday Night Raw. Uh, and reading articles about, like, I read a big article about the Attitude Era that explained a lot of that and, like, what moments of pop r truly are and mean. So, like, wrestling is, the thing is, it's not as fun to watch as it is to talk about. Because when people who care about wrestling go in depth about it, they separate the wheat from the chaff. You know, you don't have to sit through entire events where most of it's boring, you just get the highlight reel. And with Broken Matt... What made his saga so easy to engage with is that people had, you know, compiled all of the segments of it on YouTube and you could just watch all the Broken Matt stuff. But if you do that, you don't have the full context of what the hell's going on. And if I watch it with Jesse, he can explain to me what the hell is happening and why this all matters, who all these characters are, what all these throwbacks mean, and that gives me an extra appreciation. So if me and Jesse were to hang out at some point and he were to update me on the whole Matt saga as it's evolved over the years, I would probably have, you know, that would be when I would consume the rest of it. You know, I'm not somebody who really consumes things as they come out. I'm more of a binger after the fact. So, um, you know, if he's retiring the Woken persona, I mean, it's been a couple years at this point. Like, I can't imagine there's much, much more you could do with it. Like, as, as fun and exciting as it was, and I'm amazed he managed to keep it interesting for so long, but how many vlogs at Matt Hardy's house can we really go through before it starts to get stale and repetitive, you know? Like, I think it it probably is about that time to, to hang it up and 
you know, uh, I mean, Matt Hardy's also getting on in age. I would be surprised if he was not, not that wrestlers ever truly retire like completely, but you know, I, I don't know if he's planning to continue to be a full-time wrestler forever. The man is clearly rich. He doesn't need to. So, um, you know, uh, I, I, I wouldn't mind if the story comes to an end at some point. I hope that they do some kind of finale. I hope that there is some kind of grand epic ending to the Matt saga. But uh, if not, you know, whatever. You check out the Plebe and the Weeb. Check out Jesse's videos about wrestling if you care about wrestling, which you probably do if you bother to click on this video. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.